Hello, my name is Nandini Madam Polly, and this is Dr. Data. Dr. Data will help researchers easily and efficiently gather data about hospital management in third world countries. Dr. Data will allow researchers to effortlessly record data at the push of a button, equip all volunteers who own phones for free, store and record data even without access to the internet, and easily export data to Excel. Dr. Data has three main components, multiple pathways or scenarios, a timestamp function, a questionnaire, and data storage. There are, se there are several time recorder pages, one for each scenario, surgery, checkup, and ER. On the time recorder page, there is a button for every checkpoint at which a time needs to be recorded. Merely pressing this button will record the current time. Once all of the time for the checkpoints have been recorded, simply press the button at the button labeled store and the times will be automatically saved to the app database. Scenarios. When people go to the hospital, they go for a variety of reasons and may not take the same route accordingly. Differences in the route may result in different checkpoints or a different number of checkpoints. For example, someone who is in the ER because they accidentally cut their hand cutting vegetables is not going to go through the same path in the hospital as someone who is in the hospital for a checkup. As a result, we created a scenarios page which allows the user to go to a separate time recorder page for surgery, checkup, and ER. This is an example of an ER scenario or of the path a patient might take throughout the hospital if they are going for an ER um, emergency. Questionnaire. The Dr. Data app is also capable of gathering non-time-based data using a questionnaire. There are two questionnaires. Questionnaire 1 is a survey of what the patient expects from a hospital. Questionnaire 2 is how the patient rates the specific hospital in which they are at. On questionnaire 2, there is a section in which the patient can leave a comment if they should should so choose. Data storage. All data will first automatically be stored onto the app's database on the phone or device itself. From the app database, the data can then be exported onto a main computer. This is ideal for a developing nation where power outages and unreliable internet may be an issue. Because all information is stored onto the phone, even when there is no internet connection, data can still be stored. Once an internet connection has be re been regained, the researcher can download the information from the phone onto a computer where it can then be exported easily onto Excel. Hello, my name is Sydney Calendar and I'm another Dr. Jada um, person. I will explain what the Dr. Data um, app looks like. So Dr. Data has the first login screen. Once you press the login, you're going to go to username and password. We're going to register. Username letters only. You're going to confirm your username and then there's going to be a password numbers only. Confirm your password. And it paused. While it Paused. Okay. And the password is numbers only. It keeps it. Uh, it will tell you if it's an incorrect login and something doesn't match up. For there's no character limit on the password or the username, so be as creative as you possibly can. Username, you can type in your username and your password, and you're going to press login. You have three checkpoint surgery. Check up ER. We're going to press ER for this scenario. Your dates can be aligned with your date on your laptop, computer, or tablet. You're going to type in your um, username at the username box. There's 18 labels here. Not all options are needed, but these are all options to when admitted to the ER. You're going to press um, the first one and it's going to appear in military time. Once that, you're going to create a new time lock. So it's going to be saved underneath each one. You can change it for ours. We're changing it to show you it does do over span. Once done, you can press store and then you're going to go to questionnaire. 
there are two parts to the questionnaire. From one to seven, one is strongly disagree and seven is strongly agree. The first 10 questions of questionnaire part one is what are expectations of a modern medical facility? It's in numbers only so that it makes it easier for the person or volunteer to type everything in. Once done, you're going to press save and then you're going to press next. Questionnaire part two is the perception of the medical facility you just um, went to. It's also from one to seven with one being strongly disagreed to seven being most strongly agree. And then at the end, there's a comment section um, where you can put any questions, um, comments you had about the app or the volunteer or anybody in the comment section. I said Dr. Data is awesome. After this, you're gonna press comment to save the comment and then you're gonna press save to save the questionnaire. Once then, you return to home page. The home page has surgery, checkup, and ER, and you can start over again. This is important to me because I recently went to Barbados last summer, and my grandmother broke her thumb while uh, cleaning. And when she broke her thumb, it took 10 hours for them to put in a cast because x rays, diagnosis, and treatments, and we had to be running through different buildings to get paperwork and it was a chaotic mess. Hospital management can be done more efficiently once researchers have enough data about different developing countries in doing so. Hello, it's Sydney Callender and Nandini Medampali. Going forward, we want Dr. Data to be able to help other third world countries beyond just Barbados. That's why Sydney and I have partnered with the researchers at Fayetteville State University. Over the summer, the researchers will be going to Barbados to use Dr. Data in order to help them gather data about the hospital management in Barbados. Thank you and have a great day.